What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another Swatcher review for you. So today I'm actually partnering up with Le Mini Macaron to show you a giant gel Swatcher review. If you're not familiar with Le Mini Macaron, they are a one-step gel system and all of their gel polishes are nine free, meaning they are free of nine of the potentially harmful ingredients that can be found in gels. They are vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients and they're also cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals. And like I said, they're actually a one-step system so you don't need any base coat or top coat you just apply the product and you cure it and then that's the full manicure i actually have a whole video on how to use the le mini macaron set so i'll link it up in the cards if you are interested but i'll give you a quick little rundown basically it's super easy first you want to clean and prep your nails which you can do by very lightly buffing your nail just to make sure that the gel adheres to it then you go in with a thin coat of your gel polish you cure that and the le mini macaron lamp is a 30 second cure. So you cure it for 30 seconds, you apply a second coat, you cure that for 30 seconds, and then you're done. You don't have to apply top coat. You don't have to do any wiping. It's just fully done. And I gotta say, my favorite thing about this brand is their little mini macaron shaped lamps. So this is their LED lamp. It's super compact and it's really easy and quick to use. I feel like it's just perfect for travel, but this is also actually the go-to lamp that I use when I'm doing my gel manicures. And also fun fact, I'm not sure if everybody knows this, but it is magnetic. So you can actually pop the top off and you can flip it over and you can use it for pedicures. So I just think that's a neat little trick. So yeah, they sell these little kits that come with everything you need to create a gel manicure and they have a bunch of different colors. So depending on what color gel you want, you actually get a little matching lamp, which I think is so cute. So it comes with a gel polish. It comes with a little mini macaron lamp, which matches the gel polish. And then you also get a USB USB connector. I actually always connect it to my laptop when I'm painting my nails because I like to watch videos while I'm painting my nails. So super convenient for that. And then it also comes with a cuticle pusher, a small nail file, and then there's also 10 gel remover wraps. So you can also remove your manicure with everything in this kit. And they also sell larger kits as well. So this is the maxi macaron lamp. So this one can fit your whole hand in it. I actually have a review of this particular kit. It comes with four different polishes plus the lamp. So I'll link that up in the cards as well. But yeah, they have a ton of options. So in addition to their kits, they also sell individual colors and they have a lot of variety in those. So I'm actually going to show you 12 of them today, including a chrome mirror nail polish kit, which honestly, the idea of doing the mirror chrome nails has always intimidated me because it seems like it's just kind of hard and tedious to do, but this was surprisingly easy. So I am going to show you that. Then we can get into pricing, availability, my thoughts on them, where to buy them, all that good stuff. So roll this watch footage. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with a couple of polishes that are in the little mini kits that come with the matching macaron lamps. I do believe that these are also sold separately, but I just wanted to showcase these in case you want to just buy the full set. So this first one is called Fleur Blue, and this one is this really beautiful periwinkle cream. This is what I was showing you in my little example, and it's actually a really stunning shade. I thought it was gonna end up being three coats for full coverage because because it is on the lighter side, it's like almost pastel, but it ended up giving me perfect two coat coverage. And I'm just really impressed. One thing you'll see a lot in this review is that these polishes are so shiny. Like this is so glossy and smooth and there's no top coat. And this is the other one from a kit that I have. This is called Ruby Red. And I just thought this one was really exciting because I didn't realize that they have little mini kits with matching lamps for polishes that aren't creams. So this one's actually, just this really beautiful juicy red shimmer it's got this gorgeous almost like white silver sparkle running throughout it's not as intense as a shimmer it's like a little bit bigger than that so it just looks like little flecks that kind of sparkle in the light so really gorgeous very jeweled toned kind of vibes and it did give a little bit of a jelly vibe but it actually covered up my visible nail line in two coats so it's just got that like high shine and squish but it is opaque so now let's move on to some of the individual shades that are available. I'm just kind of going in a not quite rainbow order, but just in orders that I thought made sense. I don't really know. <laughs> but this first one is called Sweet Cherry. And this is a really beautiful, very warm toned coral cream shade. And this one was super opaque. I actually covered up my visible nail line in the first coat, but I ended up doing two coats for full coverage. And here's what two coats looks like cured. And again, just super glossy. Another thing I really appreciate about this brand 
brand is even if I'm not applying it totally evenly on the nail, as it cures, it kind of smooths out into one very even layer. So that's really nice, especially when you don't have to put top coat on because you're just getting a nice smooth manicure, even if you're not being super perfect on the nail. Next up, we have the shade Pink Orchid, and this one is a super neon pink cream. And this is actually one of many neons that they have available, which I think is really cool. I feel like it's kind of hard to find a good neon gel just because for whatever reason, they tend to be pretty sheer and it can be hard to reach that full coverage. But I was really impressed with this one. It ended up giving me perfect coverage in two coats. I actually thought after I applied the second layer that I was going to need a third. But again, it just kind of smooths out as it's curing. So it ended up kind of giving itself full coverage after that second coat cured. So I thought that was really cool. I think it's a really beautiful shade. And I'm also impressed that it's very high shine, even though it's a neon, because neons do tend to dry a little bit on the chalky side. But I guess with the gel formula, it's a little bit different. Next up, we have the shade Lilac Blossom because I can never resist a purple nail polish. This one is just this really beautiful, very soft, light purple cream. And this one is definitely a pastel shade. But what I really like about this one is that it's not dusty. It's kind of just like a soft white purple. So I thought that was really beautiful. And again, just really impressed with the opacity here. The fact that a shade this light gave me full coverage in two coats, I think is just really impressive. And it's just a really easy workable formula. Something you'll see a lot in this review as well is I really take my time when I'm applying gel polishes. I think it's really nice, especially for beginners, because you don't have to worry about the polish drying while you're making sure it looks perfect on the nail because it won't dry until you put it under the lamp and cure it. Moving on, we have Sparkling Sea Salt, and this is another really gorgeous shimmer. And again, it's just a little bit different from the usual type of shimmer, in my opinion. We've just got this really beautiful, almost turquoise green base. And then within that, we have this gorgeous golden sparkle. And like I said with the other one, it's just a little bit bigger than the average shimmer. So it doesn't look as fine on the nail. It almost gives like little specks of sparkle. So I think that's really beautiful. It feels like a perfect sparkling oceanic kind of manicure. So this would be a very good vacation color. I also have a few different neutrals from them. So I wanted to try a couple of them out. This first one is called Espresso and this is a really beautiful rich brown cream shade. So I actually really love having deeper gels like this, especially when you're playing around with special effects. I know recently the glazed look has been very popular and the chrome kind of vibes that I will be showing you a little bit later in this video, but I actually really love doing that kind of look over a dark color that's not black because I feel like it just gives a nice variety. I think that those types of finishes over a brown like this would be really beautiful. So it's just a nice classic brown shade, perfect neutral, perfect rich vibes. Next up, we have the shade Creme de Peche, and this one is actually a sheer jelly polish. So I know that not everybody loves the shears. Personally, I love them. I feel like this color in particular is probably meant specifically for French manicures because I feel like this is just a perfect peachy French manicure sheer. So it doesn't cover up my visible nail line. It does give a little bit of a brightening effect. So I ended up doing two coats. It almost feels like your naked nails, but better kind of vibes. But I do think that this would be really beautiful as a base for a French manicure with just a little white tip across it. Just with that brightening peach color, I think it looks really pretty. Moving on, we have the shade Papaya Sorbet, and this one is a slightly dusty orange cream shade. And I feel like this one is more of a classic springy kind of color, but for whatever reason, when I see this kind of orange, especially with that dustiness to it, it feels like such an autumnal shade to me. I really love these lighter oranges during that time of year. I feel like they just look really pretty pretty, but sometimes it's a little bit too intense if they're like traffic cone orange. So I feel like this slightly softer light orange is such a perfect fall shade. So I can imagine this one just being perfect for like pumpkin picking vibes, but I understand if people probably think of it as more of a spring shade. Speaking of traffic cone orange, we also have this shade Mango, and this one is a super bright neon orange cream. It's definitely an eye searing kind of color, and I really like this as well. Definitely feels like summery vibes 
to me, but again, I can see this being a very good fall color specifically for Halloween. Now, as far as coverage on this one, I ended up doing three coats for full coverage and I think I probably could get away with doing two. I think it's just when I'm super close up on camera that I can see that it's like a little bit sheer in the second coat, but in person, I did think that two coats was full coverage, but I still think it looks great in three and it didn't feel too thick on the nails. And then we have the shade Copacabana and let me tell you, my camera did not do this one justice. This is a neon coral cream shade. So it kind of sits somewhere between being a red, an orange and a pink. And it is just so neon bright. It was actually a little bit sheer in the first coat. And again, I thought it was gonna end up being three coats, but it gave me perfect coverage in two. And again, it is just so eye searingly bright. It feels like the perfect summer color. And it's really just a statement nail kind of color. You know what I mean? And like I said, I also wanted to show you the chrome nail powder. It's actually super cool, very easy to use surprisingly. So the kit comes with a top coat and the chrome powder plus the applicator. And I'm actually going to be applying it over their black, which is called licorice, because I feel like that is just a perfect base color to do this with. So what they recommend in the instructions is that you half cure your nail and then apply the powder. So what I did was I put my nail under the lamp for 15 seconds instead of the 30 seconds. And then I just dipped the tiniest bit of chrome powder onto the applicator and I started pressing it into my nail. And I was actually really impressed. It feels like a very, very tiny amount goes a long way. It was just the smallest little press into the powder. And I managed to cover up my full nail with it, which was really cool. So literally just rubbing that onto my mostly cured nail and and just making sure that it's nice and smooth. And it did make a little bit of a mess, but it was very easy to clean up. It wasn't like glitter or anything where it was just sticking around. So no issues with that. Basically, once I was done, I just wiped it with a little lint-free wipe so that I could clear off the nail of any excess bits. And then I went in with the top coat that came in the kit. I applied that and then I did the cure for 30 seconds. And then once that was fully cured onto my nail, I just went and rinsed my hand really quick just to get off any excess powder around my skin. And it ended up looking so cool. I feel like it's so hard to tell on camera because my camera is black and my room is dark except for my lights. So that's really all you're seeing. But I ended up just getting excited and I started waving things around so that you could see the reflection in my nail. So this was me waving a piece of paper around. And then I also put the piece of paper down and I started just waving with my hand. So you could see it was extremely reflective. I thought it was so cool. So here's all the polishes that I swatched today. And I do want to note, this is not a collection. These are just individual shades that are available. And this isn't all of the shades that are available. They do have a bunch of others. And I think they do have a really nice selection. I was really impressed with the formula on all of these. Like I said, it's just very beginner friendly working with gels when you can really take your time to apply them without having to worry about overworking the polish or about it drying too quickly, because you can work for as long as you want until you're ready to cure your manicure. And the other thing I thought was really cool about this brand specifically is that as it cured, it really leveled out on the nail and made a very even manicure. And it was also extremely glossy. So I thought that was very cool. I think it just makes it even more beginner friendly in my mind because it's very foolproof. So I feel like this is just a great way to kind of dip your toes into gels if you're not familiar with them. But I also love using Lumini Macaron and I have been using gels for a really long long time. So it's really just a great brand for anyone, I think. But yeah, let's talk about my thoughts a little bit more. So yeah, that's just a small sampling of all of the different gels that they have. And like I said, they really have a lot of variety. There's a lot of different fun colors. I feel like a lot of gel brands kind of get locked into the idea of doing like neutrals, nudes, pinks, but Lemini Macaron really does have a nice variety and they also have some really fun neons. And I think the quality is really nice. I think it's a very approachable way to do gel manicures without the intimidation factor. It doesn't take many steps. It feels like it's a super fast manicure, but it still lasts like a gel manicure because it is a gel manicure. So I really appreciate that. I also love their branding. If you can't tell, I am just so perfectly enamored by these little mini macarons. They're just super convenient in terms of size and how fast they work. So I just really love them. And by the way, removal for these is also super easy. I actually do have a video on how to remove your gel manicure using the mini 
mini macaron wipes. So definitely check that out. I'll link it up in the cards. So now let's get into a pricing and availability. Le Mini Macaron is actually available in stores and online, and they're carried by a bunch of bigger stores. So they're available at Ulta, Target, Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, and Belk. And they're also available online, like I said. So I'm gonna leave some links down below. The pricing does very slightly vary based on where you get them, but the individual gels retail for around $13 USD each. The mini kits that have the polish, the lamp, and then all of the tools that you need for application and removal, those retail for $38. USD. And then the full size kits that come with the maxi lamp, as well as four different nail polish colors and the tools that you need, those retail for $68 USD. And the little chrome kit that I showed you, which comes with the gel top coat, the chrome powder, and the little applicator tool, this retails for around $15 USD. But yeah, overall, I love Le Mini Macaron. I love their branding. I think it's so cute, but I also love their colors and their quality. And like I said, I just think it's a very approachable way to do gel manicures. I think it's very beginner friendly, but for someone like me who enjoys gel manicures, but sometimes it's kind of an inconvenience to go through all the steps. I feel like it just makes the process so much quicker. So I really appreciate that. And I also appreciate how widely available the brand is, but I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Have you ever tried at Lemony Macaron? Which of the colors that I reviewed today is your favorite? Or if you have a favorite that I didn't try, leave it in the comments. I'm curious. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please hit that like button. It really helps me out. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer, Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals, Paula, Ken, Rosie, and Angel. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Chrissy and Chrissy wants to know, how did you get started when it comes to nail polish, blogging, and making YouTube videos? That is actually a great question. So I have been doing nail polish content on the internet for a really long time. I actually started a blog, I think it was my junior year of college. So that was 2011, 2012-ish. I had played around with the idea of it for a long time before I actually did it. But yeah, I think it was around 2011 that I started a blog about nail polish. And then I started doing YouTube, I think around 2015, 2016. So it's actually been a very long time that I've been doing this. The first several years of doing it, I had a very small audience of people, especially on the blog. I don't know if any of you guys are actually even from the blog. I know there's a few of you. A lot of people I think only started discovering me in the last few years, but it really has has been a lot longer than that. And it definitely took a lot of investing my money into buying new collections and buying equipment and stuff. And also, of course, giving up a lot of free time in order to focus on doing this. But yeah, I honestly wouldn't trade for the world. I feel like a lot of my junior and senior year of college, I kind of spent my free time working on my blog and like buying nail polishes when I could and, you know, working on taking cool pictures and doing fun nail art and stuff like that when I, I, I probably could have, you know, been a little bit more social at that time, but I'm not really that big of a social person anyway. And then when I started doing YouTube videos, I was actually working full time at a place that was like an hour away. So I had a very long work week. So I actually, I don't recommend this. This was not a very smart idea, but there was like a, a period of time where I was only sleeping three to five hours a night because I was working on my YouTube channel. So, <laughs> but I'm very grateful for it. I, I think it was a good experience that kind of shaped me as a person. If anything, it's just made me appreciate the world and community of nail polish a lot more. So I don't know, I think it's been very fun. But yeah, if you ever have any questions about that, feel free to ask them in the comments and I will answer them and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.